Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I have something a little bit different to share. Um, it'll soon be Defemarember time and Defemarember is making ephemera during December for a Christmas journal or just to have ephemera ready for anything that you want to use it for. The, the, you get daily prompts uh, during December and it's organised by Barbara over at 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. So check out their channels and you'll find out all about it. This will be my fourth year of doing Defemarember um, and you get a list of um, collaging or whatever you want to do but it's um, prompts you get and I always put mine in a journal and this is 2020 and it's just great actually to have a look through and remember that you did what you did three years ago and I just love this book it's an altered storybook uh, well a novel it's a it's an al al altered novel and um, yeah it was Jenny Colgan Christmas at the Island Hotel and I just didn't really do much in fact I didn't do anything to the cover apart from put that 2020 on it and um, and it worked out perfectly um, it didn't get too um, you know gator mouth if you like uh, I tore out some pages from the actual novel you can see where the pages have been tore out in each signature and, uh, and yeah so that was 2020 this one is 2021 and I did a slightly different one. I used a traveller's notebook style um, where you just tuck your signature in um, each piece of string or twine or thread or whatever or elastic round. It's super easy round uh, the spine and then it means you can slide them in and out and do whatever you want to do with it and slide it back in. So this is um, Defender Ember and this was the prompt list for 2021. So yeah, you can see that I had fun with that. It's in a slightly probably more junkier, maybe more mixed media style, I would have said this year. Um, but yeah. So that's, yep, that's that year. And again, just super nice to, to flick through and, uh, and see everything that you made that year. Love that big tag. It's a, a tag that comes in two parts, lovely. If I say so myself. So that was that year. A button on the spine. And then this was the latest one. Which unfortunately doesn't close. I just d didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. But it actually does sit nicely on the shelf. So this was December 2022. And I made a little pocket for the prompt list there and um, yeah again it was an altered book um, but clearly I have added too much too many layers and um, yeah but still there you can see one of the pages from the book there and, and there's things in the pocket and there's little you know layers that are maybe just making it a little bit too thick but these buttons and T there is beauty and simplicity made with love Aww. oh and that's come out need to sh uh, washi tape that back in and then it's covered in fabric and a bit of collage on the cover and a little dangly bit. I think that was one of the prompts. There's a, 
a snowflake. Lovely. I think that was one of the prompts was to make a dangly thing. Anyway, what we're going to do, what Barbara and Louisa have done this year is make a basket to hold any bits, any scrap bits of paper or any um, stamped pieces, scrapbook paper, book pages, any little bits that are going to be useful or that you want to use in your Defemer Ember journal. So I have made a start because it takes forever for the glue to dry. This was, it had to dry overnight. So I'm going to explain to you what's happening here. And um, and yeah, so what, what they've done is they've swapped um, pieces of uh, stenciled paper, painterly paper, messy paper, any bits of uh, nice bits of scrap or whatever. They did a package each and swapped it, but I'm just going to use them. I don't have anybody to swap with all. So I'm just going to gather my own bits in this uh, basket. So what you do is you get a basket, like, you know, just a basket. I keep bits and bobs in that one. And I've emptied this one out because I do keep washy in this one. Um, and then you cover it in, well, here we call it cling film, but you know, it's the kind of sandwichy, sticky stuff. It's not sticky, but it sticks to itself. Um, I don't know what they call it elsewhere, but here it's called cling film. And, um, and so you cover the whole basket. I've covered everything, including the inside. But we're not going to do anything to the inside. That's just to protect it. What you do is this layer here is going to be the inside of our new basket. So that when you pull this out, you're going to have this basket here. So this layer here has been stuck on wrong side out. So the right side is inside. Oh, oh dear. The right side is inside there. So that's the right side. And today we are going to, let me just get my glue to do a major repair. Today we are going to do the next layer, which is going to be the outside of the basket. I don't know why that bit's come away. Obviously didn't have enough glue on it or whatever. Anyway, it's going to have a second layer. So I am just using this PVA general purpose versatile medium. Suitable for bonding most materials, providing one of the surfaces is porous. So I'm going to squirt another little bit into my plastic dish here. So that I can then show you what I'm going to do. My outside layer is a little bit more exciting than my inside layer. My inside lane, layer, lane, layer here is just some denim fabric and some tea towel and then some plain kind of linen-y stuff for my inside. And um, the outside is going to be fancier. So I have this fabric. So that's what's on the inside. Just pieces of kind of soft denim and bits of dish towel, tea towel. Um, for the outside, it's going to be this assortment of batik fabric. Now, it's very thin fabric. So I have backed it on to some of the linen -y stuff. And uh, so just randomly shapes that I have backed on. You could glue them on, but I just went round with a stitch with my machine because I kind of wanted some of the, um, you know, hairy bits, loose bits, thready bits, <laughs> hairy bits. <laughs> The edge of the fabric. <laughs> the hairy bit. 
of course it's the hairy bit. So we're just going to randomly add on some bits. Let's just put them so that I don't put two bits together. We'll try and just separate. It's lovely fabric that, isn't it? I really like what... Um... So I powered on. Now do I want to glue the fabric or do I want to glue... Let's glue the basket because I'll that's think that's easier because the whole basket's going to get glue on it anyway. So I think that'll just be easier to do. So I'm doing this in stages and I went ahead and did that first stage because I thought, well, I can explain what I'm doing and then it gives that stage a chance to dry so I'm just going to put that on there kind of straight and uh, so this is going to be a wee bit of a footer so if you want to by all means fast forward to when this is all dry <laughs> and uh, you can see the because the end product hopefully um, ooh, because I have plans if this works out to add something round the top edge on the outside if let me just take that plastic off so that I can use it for my brush now I don't want to go exactly straight or do I yeah, why not? I'm not really sure what I'm wanting to do, to be honest. Right, that's just going to stick, so let's not do that. So I need a little bit under there. It all dries in kind of clear anyway, so that's fine. And then once all this is covered with this gorgeous fabric it will hopefully pull out pull away from the basket and then I can get my washi back in that basket and tidy up a wee bit <laughs> right, let's just see if we can get this one on here So I had never seen this done before. Um, so this is something new. So I want to thank everyone for their feedback on, I asked a question on a, a video the other day about the music and about whether it was a a good thing or a not so good thing to not talk while I was doing my little journal, my little collage journal, or whether you enjoyed the music. And the overwhelming response was that you like the talking better than the music. So that's good to know. Thank you everyone for the feedback. And it's so nice to hear that you don't mind the accent. You quite like the accent, so that's nice. <laughs> oh, because, you know, for me here, you know, it's just, it's not an accent that we think is especially nice, you know. 
a Glasgow-like scent, but hey-ho. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, so I think now that, let's do it that way and go into the, the bottom. My fingers are going to be sticky here. I can tell. <laughs> but yeah. So it was great to get the feedback and to know what people's preferences are because, you know, you spend some time doing and, and sometimes it's nice to, to change things up a wee bit but you don't want to change it up and it not be uh, liked. So that's good. Good to know, for sure. And this, doing this second layer catches any bits that have been missed on your first layer. I think I'll do that long ways. Big decision. <laughs> right, we're meeting the other, the other bit now. So we can pop a bit in there. I think. Yeah. So I'm thinking for round the top we'll maybe put um, some buttons of course <laughs> and maybe maybe if I can think about making some handles. Not sure. Right, we've got one bit left, and I think I'll oh, put it in this wee space here. And then I will just do the rest of the second layer, which is along the bottom, really, with the spare pieces of denim that I've got. I think that would be an idea because it's just along the bottom. Yeah, that's looking okay. And Let's give the bottom a second layer of fabric. I think it's going to look nice and, um, what do you call it, grungy and shabby chic. Shabby chic is what I'm after, eh? Shabby chic. And if some of the wee corners curl up, that's fine. Not fussed about that. And I think I'm just going to have enough glue already out. So that's good. No waste of the glue. Although it kept okay in the... Um, in the wee dish. Covered in the cling film, so that was good because I thought, hmm, my brush and my wee pot's going to go hard, but no, it didn't. 
Oh, I'm just going to put that here <laughs> rather than have it stuck to my fingers. Right, and one last bit. This wee bit here, I think. There, so I'm going to go now and leave this to dry. So the next time you see it, hopefully it will be nice and firm and dry. And we'll take it out of the, the basket that it's attached to. And um, yeah, all that glue will dry in and harden. So what it should, it should just lift out, fingers crossed, <laughs> it should just lift out and we will be left with this double layer basket and, um, and then we'll maybe add, I don't know, some, some uh, ribbon trim around the top or some lace or we'll get some buttons or we'll maybe put like a wee faux belt round the middle. I haven't decided yet, I suppose is the thing there. Um, but we'll do something else with it and maybe, I don't know, maybe somehow, somehow make a handle with a longer bit of this maybe. Or maybe just like a wee hook. Something maybe like that with a button. Need to figure it out. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I can. I'll have overnight to to think about it. I'm going to leave that upside down to dry, and I've got overnight to think about it. I'll be able to go to bed tonight and fall asleep planning how we're going to finish off our basket. But I like how it's coming on. Okay, so something a wee bit different. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you. Oh no, I'm, I'm saying that. And I'm going to be joining on the next bit of the video. So ignore that. Well, don't ignore giving me a thumbs up if you want to. But I shall see you when this is dry. Bye for now. Hello, I'm back. And it's the next day. And this has dried rather nicely, I think. Nice and shabby and grungy and thready. I think yesterday I called it hairy. So now we have to get this uh, basket out from the new basket and see what it looks like on the inside. I'm just going to loosen all the top bits first before I give it a... Oh, it seems to be coming out. Ah, so I can now dispense of this. There. And I can get my bits and bobs back in. I had stuffed all the washi <laughs> into that tree. That can go back. That just sits on the top and that's perfect. It hasn't harmed the original basket. Oh, there's my hankies at all. So we can put that over there and yeah. And it is quite, um, I mean, it's a wee bit bendy, but it's, and it's a good size. Obviously it turns out bigger than the original basket because you've just used that, um, you've built up from round the outside so it's going to hold more than the original basket but that's good and, uh, and yeah do you think I'm really pleased with that right let's add another little bit to it I'm thinking that I just want to wrap this is a bit of pattern sari silk ribbon and I just somehow thought 
we could just add a little bit. I thought about a handle and then I changed my mind and I thought about maybe a button and then I changed my mind and I think I have landed on doing an eyelet. Maybe, maybe two eyelets. Maybe two eyelets and then just going through, tying a knot and then the sari silk will go round the outside and through the eyelet. Just, um, yeah, I think so. I've got these bigger ones that I thought I might use. I've never used these. These are new. Well, I got them a wee while ago and never used them. So I'm thinking, or is that going to look creepy? Is it going to look like two eyes? <laughs> I don't want it to look like two eyes. No, it won't look like two eyes, will it? Now, the thing about putting two on is that you're going to get them straight. Maybe I'm just going to put one on just now and have a play around with how the ribbon is going to work. So we need to punch the hole using our 3 sixteenths. Right, here goes. If all else fails, we will put a button on the top of this hole. <laughs> yeah. It went through that okay let's just get snip off that little bit of fabric and I'm at the right one give it a squish can you see? Perfect. Good. Right. Let's see what we're going to do here. Let's just try coming out. Out and round and then just maybe we could put a wee bead on the end of that that's quite nice so we would need to tie a knot there so that it doesn't come back through and then that's just been pushed through that bit there and we could put a bead on the end there. That would be nice, I think. What do you think? Let's tie a knot here. Is that the best way to secure that? Should I really just be maybe gluing that down? No, I'm going to have a knot. <coughs> I think maybe we'll glue it. Right, I'm just going to snip it off. Here 
Now we'll need to wait for that drying and before it, we need to remember not to tug, tug on that. So, all we need is a, a bead for the end here, I think, and then that just slides through there. Good. And that looks okay on the inside. Right, I'm going to go and get my beads. Okay, I'm here with my bag of beads. This one immediately thought was quite nice. Um, a little bit too small. They might be quite nice, but I'm concerned that it's a tiny hole and I'm never going to be able to get that through. There's wooden ones again, the hole's quite tiny. I think I'm going to stick with this. Yeah. flatten that because it's got to go back in its spot in the cupboard. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get this through here. Maybe tweezers would help. What we're doing here. So we need a knot in the end, of course. I've just had my lunch. I had leftover chicken and rice soup. Hubby makes the best soup, all different kinds. He makes good lentil soup, minestrone, but I have to say, the chicken and rice has to be one of my favourites. It was yummy. He puts carrot and onion in it. And this time, he had bought a bag of kale. And it was just... There we are. That looks okay. And it was just the yummiest soup. And yesterday when we were... How why does that not reach? That cause I tied the knot in it. <laughs> Why does it not reach? <laughs> oh, okay. We'll need to join two bits. But that's okay. We can just tie a knot and then Let's just cut that wee knot off, make it even smaller. And then we'll just grab this bit. I don't know how that happened. You were probably watching me thinking, that's not going to fit now. <laughs> it's just as well it's to be shabby chic. Oh, well, mine's is just going to be shabby, I think. There. All is not lost. Right. <laughs> now we can do this. And let's put it through. Of course, this is just for decoration. This will never be on and off. Right, that needs to go through too. Oh, what a faff. I'm making this a, a mountain out of a molehill here. Ugh. 
There's joints in the sari silk anyway. That's my excuse. That's what I'm saying. When you get a roll of sari silk, that all the pieces are joined by little knots anyway. So it makes making it look authentic. Right, I'm not sure if this is really what what I wanted, but <laughs> it's it's done now. Right, let's do it out there. That gives us plenty to be tying our knot, doesn't it? Right, if this doesn't reach this time, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to abandon this. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do this on a full tummy after chicken and rice soup. Right, let's see if we can get those two knots to go on top of one another. Should be it now. <clears throat> Say it quietly and it will work. Oh, just, just and no more. Oh, yeah. And you can just see the eyelet and that just hangs down just enough. Yeah. Okay, so this is to be used for bits for that you're going to be using for your defem uh, December ephemera. December 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 <laughs> But for the moment I am going to keep all my little because no doubt I will use plenty of these book page scraps in my collages uh, and they're handy for anything that you're making and I thought right grab all my little bits of book pages and that's where they can live until I see the prompts and then I can gather some bits and um and use it for that but in the meantime I think that is just super super I'm amazed at how well I, I'll think actually I'm going to be making more of these because I use these baskets and okay they're quite cheap but you know they're and they're nice but something that you've made out of scraps so much better do you not think that is really cute and that will sit on the shelf yes good okay that's me and thanks for joining me um i hope you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and i'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>